friends, I am Kanchan Sharma and I am Assistant Professor of Botany in Biani Group of Colleges. I welcome you all on behalf of GuruKPO.com. Today in uh, our video lecture, we are going to discuss about the reproduction in Kara. Kara is uh, a algae as we all know. It is a macroscopic one and which can be seen with the naked eyes. In my previous video lecture, we discussed about uh, the structure of Kara. Now in this video lecture, we are going to discuss about the reproduction, different type of reprodu reproduction which is found in Kara. In Kara, we uh, can see two type of reproduction, that is vegetative reproduction and sexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction is absent in this. Here, we are going to discuss in detail about the vegetative reproduction and the sexual reproduction. Vegetative reproduction in Kara occurs in the three ways with the help of tubers, with the help of bulbils and with the help of amylum stars. Tubers, uh, tubers are a rounded structure which is filled with the stored food material and it uh, bear on, uh, it arise on the buried uh, nodes or on the rhizoid of Kara when these rounded structure like you can see here there is a straw food material filled in this when they detach from the rhizoid or from the buried nodes they form a new plant of Kara. Next type of uh, reproduction uh, uh, with the help of vegetative mean is amorphous bulbils. Bulbils here uh, on the lower nodes like as we know that uh, the body of Kara is divided in nodes and internodes. The node uh, is a portion uh, uh, which is uh, <coughs> present in between two internodes. This portion is node. On the lower nodes, some uh, group of cells, like you can see, some uh, are very small cells and some are very large in size cell. The group of cell arise. This uh, group of cell is filled with the starch, that is the store food material for Kara. And uh, when they detach from this plant, they form a new plant of Kara. Last type of reproduction uh, vegetative, with the help of vegetative mean is uh, a myelom star. It is a specific feature which is found in Kara only. In this some star, uh, some star like structure you can see it is, I have made it here. And uh, some uh, cells are larger in size in the myelom star. It is uh, filled with the starch. Uh, which is again the store food material and uh, these all vegetative uh, 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 means uh, uh, means like uh, this amylum star, amorphous bulbil and tuber these all are formed during the unfavorable condition and when they uh, they are perinating uh, for years and years and when they get uh, the suitable atmosphere for them to grow then they detach from the main plant and make a new plant body. Here uh, this amylum star also uh, present on the lower nodes only and it detach and form a new plant body. So friends now uh, we are moving toward the sexual reproduction in Kara. Uh, the sexual reproduction in Kara is very advanced type and it has uh, the sex organ uh, which are also very advanced type and microscopic can be seen through the naked eyes. In Kara uh, there are two kind of uh, like uh, most of the uh, plant uh, are uh, monaceous in Kara, but there are some exceptions like uh, in Kara Velici, uh, the plant is dioecious. So we can find in most of the species the homothallic, like uh, male and female, both the sex organ will present on the same thallus. Like here in this uh, example, we uh, can see the male and female sex organ both are present on the same thallus. The male and female sex organ like a male sex organ is known as globule and female sex organ is known as nucule. Both the male and female sex organ are present on the branches of limited growth and they are present on the nodal region of it. Like it is the nodal region and uh, this is the internodal region. So these uh, globule and nucule, both the uh, uh, sex organs are present on the nodal region only. Here I will show you uh, the structure of uh, Nucule first, nucule is the female sex, uh, sex organ found in Kara. Uh, it is, uh, its body is divided in stalk and body. Stalk is a small uh, pedicel which uh, joint uh, uh, the nodal region with the egg cell. In between there is egg cell present like here you can see this is the egg cell and this egg cell is covered with these tube cells. The tube cells are meant for the protection of the 
uh, nucleal portion and the topmost cells are different in shape, they are elongated. These are known as coronary cell or corona. These corona are 5 in number. At the time of fertilization, what happens? These corona help, uh, they uh, make a small narrow furrows in between and from which some transparent liquid ooze out and it make a complete passage for antherozoid to move inside the egg cell, toward the egg cell. Now, we will uh, discuss about the male sex organ that is globule. Globule uh, generally lies just uh, down uh, after uh, the female sex organ. It is rounded in structure. Uh, it is its uh, external appearance, it look like this. But uh, when we cut a section of it, we can see it like this. Uh, globule, in globule, the, um, there is a stalk like a structure. It is called pedicel. You can see here, I am just showing you this. It is pedicel. On the top of the pedicel, there are four cells. One, this is the second cell, third and the fourth cell. These four cells are known as primary capitulum cells. From these primary capitulum cells, four manubrium arise toward the shield cells. At outermost area, there are eight shield cells. Shield cells are meant for protection of this globule. These are eight in number and this manubrium, I will show you, like this one is manubrium, this one is manubrium, this one is manubrium and this one is manubrium. These are four manubrium which are making four chambers in this globule. From each primary capitulum cell, around uh, it, uh, six uh, secondary capitulum cell arise in these chambers which are made by manubrium which give rise to 48 secondary capitula and these secondary capitula uh, form 2 to 4 slender filament on each okay so these are the slender filament which are uh, formed on the secondary these are secondary capitula on on these secondary capitula these are the slender filament which are made on it the slender filaments look like this when we cut a section of it in slender filament, there are around 25 to 200 or 225 uh, uh, sperm mothers, uh, mother cells are present in it and each mother cell, after the modification, they give rise to the antherozoid. This is the antherozoid. These are the antherozoid you can see. Uh, these are coiled structures. It is a coiled structure. This is the main body of the antherozoid and these are the filaments of it. Okay, now uh, we will discuss about the fertilization in cara, uh, we have seen the, both the sex organ on, in cara, here uh, like uh, again I will show you uh, the female sex organ that is nucule in cara, uh, it is the stalk and these are the tube cells and in the innermost region there are uh, one egg cell is lying, it is very large in size and there are four coronary cells. At the time of fertilization, uh, most of the species are, are homothallic as we know. Uh, when the antherozoids are formed, they are uh, like coiled in uh, shape. Uh, the coronary cells, they um, go apart from each other and uh, five uh, narrow furrows are made and uh, from those narrow furrows, some transparent liquid oozes out and it attracts all the rhizoid, uh, like all these antherozoids. And these antherozoids now move toward uh, the egg. Uh, from these narrow furrow, they get inside and fuse with the egg cell and form the zygote. Zygote is twice n uh, and uh, initially the zygote is light yellow in color, later on it convert into uh, reddish brown in color and the structure instead of globose, uh, the irregular surface, uh, its surface become irregular and there are some grooves and uh, ridges like the these are the ridges portion and these are the gro uh, grooves of furrow portion and this the entire uh, structure is known as uh, oospore now and the oospore is uh, containing five uh, four membranes two outer membrane and uh, two inner membranes at the favorable time uh, the germination occur in the oospore first uh, meiotic division take place and then the second meiotic division take place and uh, after the meiosis, four cells are formed from one cell, one twice n cell of oospore. Out of them, uh, like three cells, these are the three cells, they disintegrate. Only one cell survives. 
this one cell uh, now uh, will form the entire plant of the cara. Uh, now one transverse division will occur in this and uh, on the outer side one protonema initial will be formed and the lower side one rhizoidal initial will be formed. This uh, protonema initial will form the primary protonema which later on will convert into nodes and internodes and the lower portion will convert into rhizoid and now it will make the whole new plant of cara. So, friend, this was all, uh, this is it uh, about uh, the reproduction in Kara. Hope you liked the video. So, please subscribe our channel and uh, uh, do comment and like uh, the video. Thank you so much.